Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Gene. In today's walkthrough, we are going to learn about some of the activities of UI automation, which are open browser, navigate to, go back, go forward, set web attribute, and close tab. To have a better understanding about these activities, we will create a demo project. In this demo project, we will first open google.com, navigate to amazon.in, go back to Google, then go forward to Amazon, search for a product using set web attribute activity, and then finally close the tab. So first, here I'm going to drag and drop the open browser activity from the activities panel. The open browser activity opens a browser at a defined URL. So here, I need to provide a URL in the property section. We can copy google.com. and paste it here in inverted commas. Next, I'm going to drag and drop the maximize activity to maximize the window. Let's see how these two activities work. So I'm going to click on save all and run the sequence. As you saw, it opened google.com and maximized the window. Next, I'll drag and drop the navigate to activity. The navigate to activity directs the browser to a specified URL. So here too, I need to provide a URL. You can copy amazon.in and paste it here. Let's see how the navigate to activity works. As you noticed, it opened Google first and it maximized the window, then navigated to Amazon.in. Next, I'll drag and drop the go back activity. I'll, the go back activity goes back to the previously opened web page. I'll also drag and drop the go forward activity. The go forward activity returns to the web page that was opened after the current web page. Let's see how all these activities work together. As you saw, it opened Google, maximized the window, navigated to Amazon.in, went back to Google, and went forward to Amazon.in. Next, let's see how the set web attribute works. The set web attribute, set, set web attribute sets the value of a specified web attribute. To see how it works, we will use Amazon. open Amazon.in in this case. Click on indicate on screen, select the window, click on the search field, press OK. As for the element field in the property section, we need to use the same one as the browser window, which is var browser window. So we need to type in var and select var browser window. As for the attribute name, here we are going to use the value as the web attribute. So we need to type in value. And the value in the value field, we can use anything. It depends on what you want to search. So I'm going to search for Samsung 
galaxy M12. This activity right now would just type in the search field. In order to search for it and hit enter, we can drag and drop the send hotkey. Click on indicate on screen again and click on the search field, press OK. As for the key modifiers, you can press enter here. Let's see how it works up until now. Run the project. As you saw, it searched for Samsung Galaxy M12 and it hit enter. We can also drag and drop the close tab activity. The close tab activity closes the browser page. So let's just see how everything works for the final time. As you saw, it opened browser, uh, it opened Google and maximized the window, navigated to Amazon.in, went back to Google, went forward again to Amazon, searched for uh, Samsung Galaxy M12, hit enter, close the tab. That's all, that's all for today's demo. Thanks for watching.